I just realized I didn't have my fucking thing recording for the last two attempts. Awesome. I tried it with Tish, it didn't really work. And I got, um, I got down to, like, fucking a quarter of his health bar, but I kind of ran out of options there. Uh, and I tried it with Finger Maiden Ther Theralina. It sort of works, and that's how I did it last time, but I'd like to have, like, an actual fight, you know? With, like, assistance. I'm gonna see if there's anyone in this area. I doubt that they are, but, you know. It's worth checking, I guess. Ugh. I don't like how dark the fucking room is, either. I wonder if it would be worth trying... Um, to use my fist weapons. I fucking doubt it would be. Because it seems like the only time I'm gonna get anything out of, like hitting him is by staggering him, you know? I need to clear up my fucking inventory again. Oh, is he glitched out? I'll take it. Hell yeah. I am totally fine with a memory leaked opponent. I have no honor. Fuck yeah, awesome. Well, it was a fair fight. No one could say it wasn't. <laughs> wow, those rewards are super not worth this fucking endeavor. But I killed him. And that makes, what, four of these now? Five? I can't even keep track anymore. Ugh. So what's the deal with the bear incantations anyway? Now, I'll just fucking go somewhere else. Okay, that feels like this whole underside has been done, so I just need to go through to here. Would it be better to go back and then 
Yeah, it probably would have. They're about the same distance away, but one of these I don't have to deal with golem archers. Fuck golem archers. Okay. I also might go over to the... Oh yeah, I was gonna check that out, wasn't I? Neat. Oh, and it just has Blink Bolt fucking in it. Okay, cool. Well, I'm not gonna use it, so get the fuck out of my inventory. Interesting. He's got rocket fists. Great. Oh yeah, I didn't check that out. Oh, that's cool. I want to check that out. Oh, that's so good. Yeah, that's fucking cool. I'll have to put Life Drain on something else then. Because Life Drain's really good, though. That's the problem. Like, Life Drain's fantastic. Life Drain is for fist weapons only, though, right? Life drain's so good. I want both. Fuck. Is there some kind of visual glitch happening that's making it so I can't, like, fucking... Interesting. That's not what happened, though. Because it says it conjures up stingers of Scarlet Ro That's not what's happening in this fucking... That's not just me, like, reading that wrong, right? That said conjured up fucking... Conjures a stinger from below. Okay, I thought that meant, like, out of the ground. And this is landing a follow-up attack on a phone. That's weird. I'm gonna have to test that out in combat, because I'm not seeing how that works. It's weird. I need more, like, I need a better baseline for that. I really wish there was, like, a training dummy you could wail on. I don't know if that's good or not. It seems like it's weird. It says follow-up attack. But, like... I don't know. Ugh. 
Phew! <laughs> fucking Christ. It feels like one of those attacks that doesn't have a proper... Like, it feels like one of those attacks where you hit and then it's been used, right? I don't know. I think it might go back to life drain on that. And I might put it on... Can I put it... I can put it on other stuff, so... Well, Seppuku seems... I don't know, it feels weird. Yeah, I can't... You can't put anything on the fucking bottles, unfortunately. I wish you could put the, the lightning flash step on the bottles. That would be really cool. You know what it feels like it'd be really good for? The Scarlet Rot Rapier that I was using. I'm gonna put it on that just to test it. try that out. I don't know, it feels like... I feel like I'm not using it correctly, if that makes sense. So I'm gonna try and poison this guy. I get it now. If you use it as a second attack, it immediately caches out all of the poison damage they would have taken were the poison to fucking go to fruition. So it is a poison, like, it lets you use, if you inflict poison on someone, it then lets you cash out all of the poison instantly. So it is good. It's probably really good against bosses where... You stab them, you poke the boss until they're poisoned, and then you use this on them, and it just does like 5,000 damage in one hit. So yeah, I can see that being really good. I'll keep that on my person just to have it, but I'm probably not going to use it as like my primary or anything. Like, I understand what that is now. So if I had this as like a poison fist setup, and then I had that as like the fucking stab... It would essentially, like, guarantee that someone gets procced and killed by the fucking Saz effect. So, really, really good, but not quite what I'm gonna be, like, looking for right now. But hey, uh, fucking... More Scarlet Rot fucking, like, ability stuff. That's what I wanted over just, like, throw, you know, the fucking dragon head on and use it. Because, like, the answer to every single problem being just fucking use your dragon head shit was always kind of irritating. I'm going to take the bear off just for now because the AI seemed to got, get stuck using it and it wasn't very effective. It, that seems like a PvP spell. And while it's cool, it's not really working, so... Anyway. Um, if I drive through, back down through here, and then this way and then around i think that's and there those are that's just the last two of the fucking areas you need to go through All right. fucking pest threads i hate pest threads so much uh is that a cave that i missed Sick. Okay. Oh, you 
Ah, fuck you. Spot. Sprite stone. Is that a crafting ingredient? Oh, weird. <sighs> okay. Um That was weird. Why did I just take fucking stamina damage? Okay. Ruined fucking... That reminds me a lot of DS3. Uh, ruined fucking temple area fucking whatever. I wonder if I should use the Beast Claw as the Mimic's moveset and then just keep... The rest of the thing is my own. Did that break it? Yes, it did. Okay, cool. I can get rid of the art marker. And we're clean. Because I think that's all of the fucking points of interest on the floor that I wanted to check out. Good. Is there a grace over here, just in case a fucking dog waterfall? That looks like an artist's shack. Or is that... No, that's the Ailing Village, isn't it? Yeah. I feel like the distances on the map are not representative of the distances in-game. Like, they don't feel correct. Cool. Yeah, it's been a fucking minute since I got one of those. Be nice for my guy to do damage or something. All right, it feels like there should be a grace over here, but maybe not. Oh, my guy disappeared. Fuck. That means I'm not gonna be able to resummon him when I go back in there. Damn it. That's a little irritating. Whatever. This whole setup makes me wonder, like, oh, does this turn around? Interesting. Yeah, because it does connect over there, doesn't it? Oh, shit, there is a grace. Sick. Is there anything up there? Or... <sighs> yeah, I found, like, not nearly as many of those as I have the other ones. But, I mean, to be fair, I've been getting some from killing enemies. Uh, for the fucking personal one. I haven't been getting any from killing enemies for the fucking spirit one. They've been exclusively found in the environment. So, like, that's a pretty big detractor in terms of, like, whether or not I'm gonna have more of one or the other, is does one just fucking present itself to you to be claimed, versus do you have to go find it in some random corner in the middle of nowhere, right? That's a dev message. I'll be 
damned if there isn't a way past the wall. I'm not supposed to jump up onto here and jump off, am I? That seems... Improper. Yeah, I'm... I don't know how I feel about jumping puzzles in Elden Ring being, like, a main core mechanic of some of this gameplay, because I don't feel like a lot of them are well done. Like, they're exceedingly not obvious, which I know is the point, but still. that thing, it, it brought me over there. It didn't bring me within shooting distance of the other thing. So how do I get up here? Oh, fuck off. I'm getting really tired of this fucking dog. I don't know what he means by this. Like, I'm kind of at a loss here. Wow, this is the stupidest standoff of all time. A guy throwing pebbles being in, in a fucking intimidated bear person. She's treating him like he's a fucking boss fight. This will go nowhere. Okay, um... Because there was no way to jump from over there to over here. Like, and anyone who says otherwise is a liar. Uh, I mean, there is a grace over there. Maybe I should check again. I don't feel like there was, though. Let's just went over. Oh, yeah, I should probably use my souls while I'm fucking still here.
just a little off. Okay, man, I'm weirdly, like, fucking out of breath today. I think it might be because my lungs are imploding. That might have something to do with it now that I, now that I think about it. Might have a little bit to do with it. Hmm. Alright, so let's check. Let's check forward first. There's no way you could use this to fucking get all the way over there. That, that's the fool's are. I'm still right. There's still no other way to get down here other than fucking killing yourself, which is stupid. Cool if it was a somber smithing stone. Man, my fucking. I feel really, really lightheaded. It might be because I haven't really eaten anything today, but that's true for most days. And I only sometimes black out. So it's probably not that. I still can't fucking tell where I'm supposed to be going to get into this. I thought it might have been that, but it doesn't go high enough. So what the hell, right? I'm really confused here. Because I'm 
not seeing a way up to this. Hmm. Ah. Not obvious. That means there's probably a similar way in to the uh, poison one. I can only assume. Man! <laughs> no respect. Well, I'll put your mushroom to good use. And by good use, I mean keeping it in my inventory and never using it. Those guys fucking run away like uh, crystal lizards is slightly infuriating. Am I missing something? there's anything over there. Ah. In here. Nice. Try not fall off here. I mean, yeah, that is a good message. It's just not for me. Because I, I just dropped down. But yeah. Dude, you should heal. Fantastic job. And you get all your shit back. Nice. I think they assumed that would take more tries than it did. I want someone putting the you don't have the right message around things you can actually open. That would be pretty funny. Ooh, nice. That's so strong. <laughs> well, 
Like, holy shit, that is... That's a fucking talisman that 99% of people would throw on their guy and then just, you know, fucking never ever take it off. Like, that's so strong. Anyway, um... I forget, did I find a way out of the tower into this area? I feel like I did, but... I want to figure out what's up with this area. I feel like I kind of know. Because there is one that's alive in here, right? Jesus Christ. Yeah. Bring your friend. Hey, no, I'm still here, fuckface. Wow, through the wall, huh? Um, okay. Fuck me, I guess. Oh, that note I got earlier. Is it the whirlwind pots? Do I have those? I don't think I have those. Well, whatever. I'm not going to wake him up then. If I think I figured... Because the note I saw earlier said... Don't fucking... Uh... Or that one said throw into the thing. I was like, well, I don't have any fire. So I was like, whatever. And requiring a certain stat to access is a bit arbitrary. Like, that's old school FromSoft bullshit. Of, like, your stat must be so-and-so in order to access whatever. Um. God damn it. Ugh. Getting a little irritated at this fucking geometry here. It doesn't help that Torrent does not handle well on corners. It doesn't exactly turn on a dime. Giant's flame.
just to clear up my fucking... Really? Nothing? I don't know if I have a fireball. I'll try it, but yeah, I don't know if I have something that is a, you know, applicable fireball. Weirdly enough, with the fucking broken uh, golem there and the location, it reminds me of Nier Automata, with the fucking Engels unit broken down after you fight it. I like Nier Automata. Um, that game is like the definition of cut corners, though, in terms of its game design. Like, if you want to get mad at a game for reusing fucking assets, get mad at Nier. It's like. As much as I like Yoko Taro, um, his games have a lot of really weird subversive stuff in it, and I like how bizarre they are, he is kind of a hack writer, because his stuff is also the most cliched, tropey, like, pretentious bullshit that doesn't actually have a lot of, like, purpose behind, like, a lot of the metaphors and stuff. They're just there because he thinks they're cool, not because they're actually trying to, like, espouse anything about the human condition, you know? Oh, right. Am I not doing this right? There. Fuck you. Oh. I guess that's where I would have gotten the stone sword if I didn't pick it up somewhere else. Interesting. Why do I feel like there's supposed to be a boss in here? This place is pretty, though. I like it. That's an incantation, right? Oh. Giant golden orbs. 
Huh. It's just a... It's fucking magic greatsword, but incantation style. Okay, cool. I'm never gonna use that, but cool to have, I guess. I guess we're going to Greenland? <laughs> 